Hey, what's going on? Suddenly, Bob drops to one knee. What came next blew my mind. I messed up big time. I got someone else pregnant. I want to be with her because she's younger. Let's end this. I was floored. All right, I've got the divorce papers ready. Our daughter's coming with me. What? Just take all of them. Can't do that. See, the kids. I'm Miranda, rocking my late 40s as a stay at home mom. Bob and I first clicked at the office. We were desk buddies. His infectious energy and killer smile were always a highlight of my day. Not gonna lie, I had a bit of a crush. We got closer when we paired up for a project. As team lead, Bob crushed it, and I was right there backing him up. Post project, we all hit a bar and he dropped a sweet line. You've been a lifesaver, Miranda. Can't wait to team up again. And count me in. I replied on cloud nine. He then started asking me out for casual lunches, and before we knew it, we were an item. Dating the office heartthrob? Heck yes. Everything clicked, and in a couple of years, we tied the knot. The office gang, friends, family, everyone was stoked. Post wedding, I hung up my office shoes, going all in on the home front because he was all about family first. I became a pro at home stuff and was super proud of my kitchen reconquests. With his thumbs up, Mary life kicked off on a sweet note. Fast forward a year and boom, baby boy number one enters the scene. We were stoked. Our little guy got all the love. We weren't planning on the parent gig so soon, but man, it was fun. We were all about our firstborn. A couple of years roll by and son number two makes his debut. Double the joy, double the trouble. Handling two turbo toddlers wasn't easy. They were everywhere. Between their antics, I probably burned more calories than a marathon runner. Our kiddos grew up strong and spirited. Time flies. Kid one's in fourth grade, kid two's not far behind in second. Then, plot twist, I'm expecting again. Dropping the news on Bob, I go, Looks like we're back to baby land. We are? His face was priceless. It had been a minute since our last baby adventure. We'd always daydreamed about having a little girl in the mix. Dreams came true, it's a girl. He was over the moon, and our boys instantly turned into overprotective big brothers. Three kids in the house meant all hands on deck, so I snagged a part time gig. With Bob climbing the career ladder and thinking about college funds, it was time to stash some cash. My days were a whirlwind. Whip up breakfast, pack Bob's grub, daycare drop off for a girl, and then hustle to work. Post work, it was pickup time, some grocery pit stops, and back to the kitchen. As for our boys, they were either tearing it up outside or turning the house upside down. Life was crazy cooking, cleaning, calming baby cries, but I wouldn't change a thing. I was all in, giving my best both at home and as a mom. Man, how time zips by. Our youngest just hit the big ten, and the older ones are growing like weeds. Our eldest is knee deep in his junior year of high school, while the next in line is kickstarting his freshman journey. Parenting now is a tad easier than the wild early days, if I'm being honest. But with the boys in their teen turbulence and that classic, you can't tell me what to do phase, we've traded one kind of challenge for another. Gone are the days of chasing toddlers, and in its place, we've got teenage drama. It's like swapping physical marathons for mental ones. I have to walk on eggshells around them, trying to find the balance between guiding and grading. Shoot them a piece of advice, and I'm met with those signature teenage eye rolls. Figuring out their mood triggers feels like diffusing a bomb blindfolded. I've always looped in my husband for some teamwork on this, especially with college talk for our eldest around the corner. But instead of chipping in, lately he's been so aloof. Like I'd dive into, hey, our eldest has his eyes on this college, and with his scores, and he'd hit me with, cool, sounds great. Wait, what? I said that sounds great. I didn't even finish. My bad, but he's got this. Okay, time out. Does got this mean he's not concerned? Man, I wish he'd give more than these half baked replies. Every time the kids pop into our conversation, he's mentally MIA. At some point, I had to call him out. 
Why so nonchalant these days? Don't you care? Your casual vibes on big topics aren't doing it for me. But instead of a heart to heart, he snapped back. Come on, I'm busting my chops daily. I'm wiped. Isn't it enough I'm even tuning in? Seriously? That tone? Talk about condescension. It's not that. I'm the main earner, remember? I could be way more intense. Others would have lost it with you by now. With that, he stormed off. Where did that come from? It's like suddenly dealing with another teenager in the house. Except, he's worse. Post-Tiff, he became even more of a ghost, pulling late nights, working weekends. Was it work or was he dodging me? Our youngest picked up on his chilly vibe, wondering. Did I do something wrong? Why is daddy so distant? My heart broke hearing that. I knew we needed to hash it out. Before I could corner him, he dropped a bombshell. One evening, he rolls in earlier than his recent night owl hours. He's been coming home at 2 a.m. or sometimes even in the morning. After he saw me in the living room, he told me we had to talk. Wondering what he had to say, I got up from the sofa. He looks me dead in the eyes, drops to one knee, and goes, I messed up big time. I got someone else pregnant. I want to be with her because she's younger. Let's end this. I was floored. Was I hearing things? Wait, an affair? She's expecting? And you want out? Without missing a beat, he spilled. I love her. She's got our kid on the way. We need a fresh start. Just like that, any lingering love fizzled out. Here, I thought we were a team, tackling life and kiss together. Guess he had other plans. Funny enough, I'd recently snagged a divorce form. No idea why. It wasn't in the plans, but it's like something nudged me to it. Pondering this weird twist of fate, I whipped out that very form I had tucked away. Not the divorce papers right here. Since when? He looked like he'd been slapped with a wet fish, not expecting me to have those papers on hand. Call it a hunch? His face twisted in displeasure as he scribbled his signature on the papers. We're not done. The kids have a say in this too. I got it. I'll crash in her place for now. I want to be there, especially with her being pregnant and all. I slipped the papers into my bag, thinking he could have kept that last bit to himself. How do I break the news to the kids? I penciled that in for post-dinner chat tomorrow. He had a fling? Seriously? With those gray hairs? That's rich. The news hit the two oldest like a ton of bricks. I figured they'd side with me. But tuition fees alone on my paycheck? Still, I wanted them around. Their next move threw me from a loop. We're rolling with dad. Yup, that's the plan. My heart sank a bit. Did I do something? You'd rather be with him? They both laughed. No, nah, we're team mom all the way. But you handling tuition and all that jazz solo? Let's make dad foot that bill. Hold up. And hey, being the thorn in dad and his girlfriend's side? Pure gold. Getting consistent child support out of him? Not betting on it. Especially with a baby on the way. No way you're dealing with his mess anymore. Thanks, you two. I was floored by their wisdom. I then set up a family powwow. Made up your mind? Like a kid in a candy store, he jumped right to it. I wanted to roll my eyes at his impatience. Yes, I made the call. Our daughter's with me. What? Just take them all. His pitch went up a few notches. Clearly, two reminders of his past life didn't fit his shiny new picture. We were picturing a cozy trio. Stepkiss would throw a wrench in it. They're all yours. No dice. The boys chose you. Is that true? Hundred percent. We're sticking with you, Dad. But with your mom, it'll be... She's a bit much at times. And your new gal, she's a looker, right? Pretty neat having a hip young mom. How'd you score someone like that? Am I that good? Top tier. Not every old dog has those tricks. Basking in the flattery, he perked up. Alright, we'll make this work. She'll warm up to you guys. I smirked internally. 
like putty in their hands. Everything's falling into place. Diving into property division, we struck a deal where I'd get child support for our oldest, lumped with alimony and a piece of the property pie. I opted for a one-time child support payout, landing me a hefty sum. Fast forward and the divorce was finalized. I set up shop in an apartment with my daughter. She missed her brothers, but her regular visits kept her spirits up. Meanwhile, my part-time gig offered me a full-time spot. A no-brainer, really. Snagging it bumped up my earnings and came with sweet perks. Things were looking up. I kept grinding and squirreling away cash. Six months post-split, my ex buzzed me. Picking up, I asked, What's up? Help! Look, those guys are giving their stepmom the runaround. It's chaos. You're talking about our sons? Spill. They're eye maintenance, and she's on edge. What have you been feeding them? That got under my skin. This isn't on me. Maybe they've got some pent-up feelings about the affair. Could be she's catching the heat. No way. They sang my praises before. Look, not my circus anymore. Gotta go now. Bye. Hold up. How about they crash with you? Weren't they team dad? They were, but she's ready to call it quits and bolt. Bummer. <laughs> Cut the sarcasm. They're yours too. Take them. Demand much? Fine, I'll mull it over. Seriously? You're a godsend. On one condition. Pay their child support and schooling up front. How come? I smell a bail. You might dump and run. Not happening. I need more than pinky promises. Pay up first. <sighs> What's the damage? $500,000, ballpark. Steep. But you got it. They're yours. Alrighty then. Keeping this end, he wired the half mill. My gang was back together and my daughter was on cloud nine. Given my paycheck, making ends meet for the four of us was a walk in the park, especially with the upfront stash covering their schooling. Here's the kicker. Word about his fling spread like wildfire after I let it slip to an old co-worker. The fallout was that he lost face at work, got bumped down a peg, and faced a paycheck trim. Mrs. New and Improved kicked him to the curb. Older and poorer wasn't her jam. Now he's rocking the twice-divorced, penny-pinching, empty-pocketed look. Karma, right? Over here, it's sunshine and rainbows with my trio. My game plan is to keep hustling and soak in their milestones.